Yes, yes. So what we have in uh, in the program right now is we will having be we will be having the closing remarks shortly, and then we will have the fac facilitation giving the certificates distribution of certificates uh, also having shortly. So uh, request the panelists they can stay if they have time because we will be having uh, we will be distribute certificates to all the panel all the participants who have successfully completed the uh, winter school but before that i invite uh, uh, i will invite our dignitaries for the closing ceremony we have with us today hasiti samar uh, samar singhe who is the co leader of evaluate sri lanka uh, and i i invite hasiti to uh, give us her closing remarks thank you mesh can you uh, hear me Yes, that's it. Clear. Cool. So wow, wow, wow! What else I have to say? The past three days have been a great learning experience, and with all our participants' active engagement, comments, feedback, I can definitely say that uh, all the hard work of our organizers, resource persons, and team behind uh, have been paid off. And I'm amazed by the fact that. We successfully pulled off three winter schools, and it was definitely a wonderful journey so far. And as Gabriella mentioned uh, on the first day, Asia Pacific Winter School is a very special uh, platform because it is an opportunity, a platform that is uh, that is created by young and emerging evaluators to their fellow YEs, uh, mainly to build their capacities and strengthen their networks. Of course, uh, our senior evaluators and uh, networks are always guiding and supporting us. And uh, so huge thanks goes to all of you. Congratulations to all the participants who are successfully completing the winter school today. And I hope all of you learned something new, motivated to do more as an evaluator and made new friends and enjoyed the sessions. Your learning doesn't end here. This is just a kickstart. And there are a lot of opportunities, trainings coming up today. And today you will become a winter school alumni. So keep in touch with us and grab those opportunities. Actively engage with our networks, uh, professional and of course, the valued networks. Pass this experience and create similar platforms to build your fellow YEs. And most importantly, become a leader and be a change maker. Thank you everyone again and once again, Congratulations to all of you. And over to you, Dr. Rajiv. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Hasithi. Now I invite Dr. Rajiv Nandi, uh, who is co-founder, co-leader at Eval uh, uh, Evaluation Community of India. Thank you, Umesh. Uh, thank you, Hasithi. Uh, so, dear friends and colleagues, another successful winter school. So it's very encouraging to me. Uh, being a part of this winter school for the third consecutive year is a great honor for me. So on behalf of the organizing committee, I'd like to congratulate all the participants for successfully completing the third Asia Pacific virtual winter school for young and emerging evaluators. I'd like to highlight that the fact that the, the, the Asia Pacific winter school has already made a significant contribution to the world's eval capacity building landscape in the last 33 years. Um, it's the result of a pioneering initiative taken by a group of YEE leaders together with some OP leaders from Asia Pacific. It's also important to mention here that the success of Winter School is the result, also the result of the joint efforts of our participants and the resource persons. And thanks to our excellent resource persons, uh, we're extremely grateful uh, uh, to, to them. You know, evaluation as a discourse emphasizes its role in facilitating social change towards a just and equitable society. So having professional evaluation cadres become increasingly important when you look at development from the perspective of programs and policies, or even from the perspective of institutional capacity. So I don't have any hesitation to say that the Asia Pacific Winter School has created a unique opportunity for the young and emerging uh, evaluation professionals to understand and learn key contemporary issues and the skills in the field of evaluation in the absence of academic courses, except a few. And another important aspect of this winter school is that 
our resource people primarily come from the field of uh, uh, practice, and that brings a real world experience uh, uh, for our participants. Anyways, it's good to see that more and more YEs are joining this network. So when I look at these participants here, I see a group of emerging evaluation leaders who will lead this agenda in future. So congratulations and best wishes. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Rajiv, for your encourage, encouraging words and uh, for all the continuous support that, uh, that do you provide. You are the pillar of strength for all of us. Uh, I now invite uh, Sakio to deliver his uh, remarks. Uh, Sakio uh, is co-leader at Evaluate Pacific. As you have seen, he has already reached out to participants through chat box. To, over to you, Sakio. Thank you, Mr. Mesh. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, clearly. Great. Um, Polovinaka and Pacific greetings, colleagues. It's an honor and privilege for me as co-leader of Evaluate Pacific to join the other speakers to also say a brief remarks um, in this closing session of this winter school. And I'd like to give this closing remark by, first of all, echo the sentiments by the speakers before, to thank and congratulate the participants who are in this call for the love and enthusiasm that you have shown to learn more about evaluation. Please be proud of yourself, just as we are proud of you. And this is a great learning achievement. I hope you find it enriching and you've gained the knowledge, the skills and the insights that are needed to, to assist you serve our people better in our communities. And second of all, may I also say thank you to the Asia Pacific Evaluation Association. Thank you to Evaluate Asia and partners, the sponsors, the speakers and the resource people for the kindness and generosity of spirit that you show to the young and emerging evaluators in the Asia Pacific region. We are greatly inspired by your empowering and encouraging leadership. And you know, in your unique way, you you have acknowledged and recognized the need to provide training like this to young people in the region. And we took heart from a positive spirit and general attention to this. So thank you. Thank you very much, uh, colleagues. We at Evaluate Pacific are, are glad to know that out of the 78 participants, 11 are from the Pacific Island countries. And this is a great achievement to us. So thank you very much, colleagues. Thank you to the participants. Thank you so much for your love to our Pacifica. Thank you for your love and dedication to the Asia Pacific region, everybody. And I think the participants are looking forward to attend more activities like this. And we look forward to collaborate and partner with you to do this in the Pacific. Thank you so much. Great job indeed, everyone. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in advance. Nakta and Madamanda. Thank you, Sakio. Thank you so much. I think you have done uh, uh, half of the job of our uh, <laughs> vote of thanks, but I think as 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 member, really thank you. Uh, now it is a time that all of we are waiting for. In a way, the all the efforts that all the participants have taken into the learning on behalf of the entire organizing committee, we want to congratulate you and formally provide you with the certificate, which reads such as certification of completion is given to the participants for successfully completing the third Asia Pacific virtual winter school for young and emerging evaluators on 8th to 10th December, 2022. Uh, the certificate is signed by Randika Delmel, co-leader of Evaluate Asia, Dorothy May Albencino, co-leader of Evaluate Asia, Dr. Asela Kalu Gampatapia is the president of Asia Pacific Evaluation Association and also signed by Dr. Rajib Nandi, who is co-founder and co-leader at Evaluation Community of India. So with that, now I request uh, Dr. Rajib uh, to, now I could request Dr. Rajib to uh, please come on to facilitate each of our uh, participants with the certificates in hand. I request all the participants to switch on their videos uh, for this because you will be spotlighted. I also want to let you know that the certificate is only issued to participants who have successfully attended each and every session throughout the winter school. And I think it's only fair uh, to do that because it was communicated prior that all the participants who will successfully communicate 
the all the part, uh, sessions and all three days will get the certificates so with with immense pleasure uh, i want to announce the, each of the participants it the names are in alphabetical order so you know where you stand uh, so it will start with a and a conclude towards uh, xyz uh, request the team to be ready i think uh, we'll start with the Ubi, first Ubi, Ubi, can you put it on a full screen yeah 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 uh, we'll start with abdul hamid sharik congratulations abdul also thank you Alex Clement. congratulations Simon. aishwarya ravi kumar Congratulations and best wishes, Ashiria. Akanksha Laroya. Thank you. Congratulations. Akbar Ali. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Congratulations, Akbar. Thank you. Amalia Alam. Thank you. Congratulations, Amalia. Thank you. Aniket Marne. Thank you. Congratulations, Aniket. Thank you, sir. Anandita Sharma. Thank you. Congratulations, Anandita. Best wishes. Avantika Singh. Congratulations, Thank Avantika. Thank you. Beverly Chinyama. Congratulations, Beverly. Best wishes. Thank you. Celestine Chime. Thank you very much. Congratulations, listing. Excellent. Christian Hernandez. Thank you. Congratulations. Koraima Okfrini. Koraima, Thank congratulations. You. Best wishes. Yeah. Dipani Chaturika. Congratulations, Dipani. Great. Dilbara Kirbasheva. Congratulations, Dilbara. Emily Yu. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Eva Castro. Thank you. Congratulations, Eva. Excellent. Gemma Kerrison. Congratulations, uh, Gemma. Uh, Tachan, can you can you uh, tell me what is the number of participants that we covered? We also have Dr. Asela with us to uh, uh, do some certificates. Yeah, Umesh, you, you can continue for a few more, like okay. five or so. Okay. Uh, how do I change the view? I want to do uh, presenter's view. I think, uh, okay. Okay, I think we'll, we'll carry on. Uh, we have covered Gemma, right? Uh, I think Kunduz Ashmatova. Congratulations, Kunduz. Thank you. Uh, Lazaro Gonerara. All the best, Lazaro. Thank you very much, sir. Lekha Chako. Thank you. Linda Lal. Thank you so much. Best wishes, Linda. Thank you. Thank you. Maria Arrow. Great, Maria. Congratulations. Thank you. Mit Shaha. Congratulations, Meet. Thank you so much, sir. Megha Raha. Congratulations, Megha. Best wishes. Milika Shesna Barvi. Congratulations, Milika. I think with Milika, we will take a take a big pause here and now. Thank you so much, Dr. Rajib. I think 
will also uh, have with us we have dr asela and i would uh, i would request dr asela to also uh, distribute uh, the remaining certificates to the participant who has successfully completed thank you mesh uh, mosmi panda congratulations mosmi thank you so much munf bear bamba Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Nigel Cheshire. Congratulations, Nigel. Nisar Ahmed. Thank you, sir. Congratulations, Nisar. Nova Navo. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Nova. Ramona Miral. Thank Congratulations, you Ramona. Thank you. Sadaf Farooq. Congratulations, Thank Sadaf. You. Thank you. Sandra Cardenas. Congratulations, Thank you so Sandra. Much. Sayani Basak. Congratulations, Sayani. Thank you so much. Thank Shalini you. Pati. Congratulations, Salini. Shreya Gupta. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Shreya Gupta. Sonam Lahamo. Congratulations, Sonam. Thank you. Shrimoi Biswas. Congratulations, Shrimoi. Thank you so much. And then Pelden. Congratulations, Tandy. Thank you so much. Tinel Ivia. Congratulations, Tinel. Sensang Gonchi Droj. Thank you so much. Congratulations. I will not read the full name. <laughs> Vanessa Skellern. Congratulations, Vanessa. I think I think we have covered uh, our uh, uh, our uh, participants who have successfully completed. I think on so since we are in Zoom, I think we are we are not able to clap for it. So on behalf of everybody on the organizing committee and all the participants, I will play. <laughs> I think you deserve once more. Great, great. I think with this, uh, we are at the we are at the at the fag end of this winter school. We have few last reminders for you, and then I, I formally now would request everyone to switch on their videos and take a memory photo. With all of our esteemed panelists uh, and all the signatories of your certificates and all the organizing team, it will be a great memory for us. We have taken photos throughout the winter school on each day, but I think uh, this uh, concluding photo will be a great uh, memory for all of us um, to cherish. So, requesting everybody to switch on their uh, videos. Uh, we, you will get your certificates emailed to you on Monday uh, next week and we'll send it via email. If you don't get, please reach out to Tarchan or me. On You you have our email address. We will be communicating it to you. But to all the participants who have successfully completed the winter school will get the certificate next week, uh, early next week. Uh, I will also try to put the gallery view on so that we can take a screen shot. Uh, requesting Celestine Chime to also switch on the videos if possible. And yes, Kundu, thank you also for getting, uh, getting uh, our cute fellow also with us. Uh, we'll, we'll take a screen shot and touch and let us know. Thank you so much. I hope I can share this feeling with the reaction emoji with you.
And to conclude, for us now, you are not just the participant of a winter school. I think for all of you, each and every one of you are now the part of the community that is uh, the monitoring and evaluation community. And you are part of the group and request everybody to be associated with us in any way possible. You have your national WOPES, you have Evaluate India chapter uh, also uh, with us. I think, uh, yeah, Akbar, I think we will get to you. But I think before that, as a moderator, I have a duty to complete all the program with me. Uh, we have, Satin, did we get the photo? Yes, Umesh, but then Umesh, please remind the participants about the post-event survey. It's very important yes, for us. Of course, of course, I will do. Thank you. But I think before, uh, before that, we have with us Dorothy May, uh, who is co-leader at Evaluate Asia. I request Dorothy to also uh, give her parting thoughts and uh, deliver the vote of thanks on behalf of the organizing committee. Over Thank to you, you so Umesh. much. Thank you so much, Umesh. Um, can you hear me well? Yes, yes, clear. Okay, so hello everyone and good afternoon from Manila. Congratulations for successfully completing the third Asia Pacific Virtual Winter School for Young and Emerging Evaluators. We hope that the program we prepared for you for the past three days have provided you with an insightful learning opportunity to learn about the evaluation field and think about your career options in this sector. But first, let me take this opportunity to thank everyone who made the winter school possible. Um, we are extremely grateful to the Asia Pacific Evaluation Association headed by the president, Dr. Asala Kalukampitiya, for sponsoring this third winter school and for always championing and advocating for the engagement and empowerment of YEEs in our region. Um, can you go to the next slide, Omesh? We'd like to acknowledge um, our resource speakers, Dr. Sham, Natalia, Professor Aki, and Amanda for giving us uh, the wonderful sessions over the past three days. And next, we also thank our panel members, uh, Dr. Ram, uh, Dr. Nita, uh, Nazir and Umesh and our uh, panel moderator, Sausan, thank you for facilitating that very insightful dialogue we just had earlier. And uh, next, also, we'd uh, like to thank all the speakers who have been with us uh, since um, the day one, uh, to Marco, Dr. Asala, Gabi, Dr. Rajiv, thank you so much, Hasidi, Sakeo, um, um, Randika. And Umesh, our moderator, thank you so much for wonderfully uh, facilitating uh, the three days uh, winter school. Um, next, um, I'd also like to thank um, the hardworking production and communications team behind the winter school this year, the APC Hub. Okay, so I'd like to do a shameless promotion if we are looking for additional volunteers. If you're interested in helping us mount webinars and online activities such as these, and if you're also interested in doing uh, communications work for the um, Asia Pacific region's volunteer um, um, evaluation initiatives, please reach out to us if you are you, if you're interested to join the team. And um, lastly, I think we have. The next slide, Umesh, I'd like to thank our um, organizing committee. So you can see the photos here, the, the people behind um, the Asia Pacific Virtual Winter School 2022. Thank you so much for all the inputs that you've uh, made to make this uh, program and the implementation of this uh, winter school this year um, really successful. And lastly, I'd like to thank uh, all the YEE participants who joined us for the three days for your active participation in all of our sessions. We wish all of you the best as you start or continue your journey in the evaluation field. And like Umesh and Amanda, who are actually graduates of the past winter school, winter schools, we look forward to also seeing all of you getting more actively involved in evaluation initiatives in your own countries in our in in your region since we have also participants from um, Africa and from Latin America I think or, or at the global level and we hope that um, this winter school has provided you the space to expand your network among your fellow YEEs as our speakers have already emphasized 
the importance of building your um, network in um, your evaluation careers. So that said, we encourage all of you to connect um, with your VOPES uh, or the EVALU chapters in your country or in the region. So I'm inviting everyone to sign up and be a member of Evil Youth Asia. I will post the link uh, later on in the chat box. And um, uh, our speakers and Omesh has also mentioned um, earlier, if you are interested in joining the national chapters um, of Evil Youth um, in, our, in our region, we have helped launch um, 10 national chapters in India. We have in Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Bhutan, Afghanistan, Nepal, Indonesia, or Philippines, uh, in the Pacific Islands, as um, Sakeo has mentioned earlier. And we have a new one in the Australia and um, New Zealand chapter and more coming next year. So please um, get in touch with us or with the, uh, with them uh, to connect as well. Or if um, there is no such networks in your country, we also encourage you uh, to get in touch with us if you want to start uh, an EVALU chapter in your country. And uh, finally, 2023 is going to be um, an exciting year for us. We have exciting events. I think Nazir has already mentioned some earlier. Um, watch out for these. So as or you are already graduates of the winter school, we have regular follow-up trainings for winter school uh, graduates. Um, the next one will be in July, in, in July, in February. So watch out for that. Um, the YEE career development training that um, Nazir also mentioned earlier will also have some sessions on that um, next year. And in April will be a Youth in Evaluation Week. So uh, we all want everyone to take part in that. Aside from that, we also have um, regular uh, monthly um, APEA and SLEVA webinars. So those are some of the opportunities where you can learn more about um, evaluation um, topics and emerging um, issues in the evaluation field. And next year, we'll also be uh, firming up our P2P uh, career um, career uh, evaluation, uh, career uh, trainings uh, led by Nazir and his team. So um, we hope you can also take part in those um, sessions as well. And um, next year as well, we have a youth summit coming up towards the end of um, the year. And we hope that you will also partake in that. Um, finally, um, Tarchan mentioned, if you have any questions or suggestions on how we can further improve the winter school, please take time to answer the post-event survey that we will be sending out to you after this training. So again, congratulations, everyone, for another successful winter school. And see you all again in the next uh, activities. Thank you. Back to you, Mesh. Thank you so much, May, for this uh, like very comprehensive word of thanks. And I think uh, on behalf of the uh, all the participants, I really want to uh, thank the the efforts that the production team especially has done in making sure that the entire the entire winter school happens smoothly. Uh, I want to give leave three reminders to our participants. A, there will be a post event survey that will be sent to you over email. Please, 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 please submit the survey sincerely so that we can improve the experience next year. Be honest. Uh, we are open for very clear feedback. We want to improve. We want to know how we can improve. So please give your inputs. Uh, second thing, as we mentioned, you will be getting the certificates emailed in your mailbox next week. So watch out for that. We also want you to know that all these forums are for you. Now you are part of APIA, you are part of Evaluate Movement in general, and you're part of Evaluate Asia also. You are connected with us. We also, we feel you are, you are one of us. So please reach out to us on our social media channels. If you have taken, we will share the screenshot that we have taken across the sessions. We'll share it in the group. Please, if you are, Putting it on any social media chan channels, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, please mark us. We are on all of the social media channels. Uh, we will also share that in the email and WhatsApp group. So if you're putting, please reach out. 
as akbar suggested he is interested i encourage all of you to get involved in your evaluate chapters wopes in the in the evaluate movement you're also as as mentioned there is a journal of apia that is encouraging participants to write for us we will share that link also so you are encouraged there are forums that will help you that will that will give you a platform so you can as a participant also and also as a contributor i think now that you have some basic idea of the tools and now you have some uh, knowledge i think it is also important this is a nascent field so with that i think uh, i will i will close the ceremony and i, I saw there was a hand so is there akbar is still there do you want to like maybe talk in a minute uh thank thank, thank you, you so, so very much. much guys thank you so much yeah go, thank, go. Thank, thank you so much for the opportunity and thank you everyone i just want to ask if we can have a whatsapp group of the participant of this uh, particular training so for learning yeah, and yeah. security purpose please yeah yeah we have the whatsapp group but if you don't uh, if i i don't know if you are part of but participants can give me a thumbs up if they are part of the whatsapp group i think we have a whatsapp group so I will, maybe i will send you the link or maybe we will add you and yeah maybe tarshan yeah. you can email the link to the whatsapp group with the certificate yeah okay randika i'll do it once again yeah thank you so much all thank you for joining we are looking forward for a very active and prolonged engagement with all of you and hopefully uh, if you like the engagement during this three week next year we will come up with recommendations and suggestions and um, uh, the activity um, of sending this connecting to the new ways for the fourth winter school thank you so much for joining and this is umesh signing off as a moderator thank you so much Thank you everyone thank you